Hello, my name's Ellie and today we're going to be thinking about endangered animals. So that's a really big word. Have a little think about what you think that might mean. So we often hear about it, but what does endangered actually mean? So an endangered animal is an animal where there's not very many of them left. And there's something that's even worse than being endangered. Have a little think if you know that science word. If you said extinct, you are absolutely right. So if an animal's extinct, there's none of them left. Now pause the video and have a little think if you can think of any extinct animals. So I think the main one that you've probably all got is the dinosaurs. So dinosaurs, um, they lived millions of years ago and they all went extinct. So there's none of them left on the planet anymore. But why did they go extinct? Have a little think and see if you know. So the dinosaurs went extinct so long ago. There's lots of different theories as to why they went extinct, but humans weren't actually there, so nobody will ever really know. But I think it's worth remembering that the dinosaurs, they went extinct all by themselves. It had nothing to do with us humans. But what's happening now is that lots of animals are becoming endangered, and in some cases, even worse, becoming extinct because of things that humans are doing. So this is something that's really important that we should uh, learn about, because there's little things that we can do to help to make sure that we're looking after the animals. So today we're gonna to be talking about endangered animals. So if an animal is endangered, it means that there's not very many of them left. And there's lots and lots of reasons why animals become endangered. So maybe have a little think, you can always pause the video and write down some of your ideas as to why we think animals are becoming endangered. So today we're going to go through a few examples of different animals that are endangered and talk about why they're becoming endangered. So there are lots and lots of animals that are threatened at the minute. There's over 350,000 species. Now we've not got time to talk about all of them today. So we're going to have a think about an endangered animal. So see if you can guess what endangered animal we're talking about. This here comes from the animal. and it looks a little bit like wire, but this is actually hair. So you would find these on this animal's tail and they would swoosh their tail around to get any flies off them because they live in quite a warm place. So they would actually live in the African savannas. Um, so as well as these um, big tail hairs that they can get things out of the way with, they've got huge ears as well and their ears would actually help them to keep nice and cool. So they waft those around to keep them nice and cool. And they've also got something a little unusual. They don't have a nose like we do. They've got a really long nose and it's actually got over 40,000 muscles in it, which is amazing. And they can lift things up with this really long nose. They can breathe through it. They can suck water up into it and then spray it all over themselves. I wonder if you've guessed what animal we're talking about yet. If you said elephant, you are absolutely right. So we're gonna have a little think about the elephants as they are endangered. They're actually classed as vulnerable at the minute. There's about 415,000 of them left out in Africa, but this is a lot less than they used to be. So like with lots of animals, there's a number of different reasons why the elephant's numbers have declined. So part of it is that their habitat is getting smaller and smaller. So that's known as habitat loss. So they've lost over 50% of their range. And another reason is people poaching them, so going out and killing them for parts. So I've got something here from an elephant. So have a little guess 
what you think this might be. So this here is part of an elephant's tusk. Now, don't worry, this elephant wasn't hurt. This just chipped off an elephant that used to live here at Nolsey Safari. So as you can see, um, it's a bit of a funny colour. And this is, um, this is just what it would look like on the elephant, okay? Now, the reason elephants are becoming endangered is because they're poached for their tusks. So this is actually made out of the same thing as our teeth. So it's just like a big tooth that grows out of the elephant. Now, people don't tend to want it when it looks like this. What they do is they polish it up so it looks nice and shiny and white like this. And in some parts of the world, people like to have these as a status symbol, um, or they might make pieces of jewelry out of them. So. This here is a bracelet that's made out of elephant ivory. Or you can make ornaments out of them as well. So this one here has been made out of an, uh, into an ornament. So this here is very clever, how they've sort of carved this into the elephant tusk. I wouldn't be able to do that. That's really clever how they've done that. But we could use something different, couldn't we? We don't have to use an elephant tusk to make an ornament or to make a piece of jewellery. I think these tusks look much better on the elephants. So if you're ever somewhere on holiday and you see something like this, if you think it might be from an animal, the best thing to do is leave it there in the shop. Because um, if people stop buying them, then the elephants will stop getting poached for them. Yeah. Now, you might wonder why I've got all of these things. Don't panic, I've not been out and hurt any animals. All of these things are actually on loan to us from the police. So they've been confiscated from people who were being naughty and trying to bring them into the UK. So rather than them being able to keep them and um, make any money out of them or sell them or anything, they've been confiscated off them and they're on loan to us so that we can tell people all about what's happening. So now we've spoken about the elephants, we're going to move on to another endangered animal. So this animal, there's actually a lot less um, left in the wild. There's only 540 of them left in the wild. And we're talking about the Amul tiger. So we've got some Amul tigers here at Nolsey Safari on our tiger trail. Um, and we're gonna have a little think about why they are endangered. So this here is a tiger's skull. So don't worry, it's not a real one. This is a replica, just like all the other things behind us here. So here you can see they've got amazing big teeth. These are their canines and they'd use those to catch hold of their prey. And then they'd use these teeth at the back here to rip the food apart. Now, unfortunately, tigers are poached for their body parts. So sometimes they're killed for their bones. So people will take their bones and other times it's their fur. So something that all of these cats have in common is actually they're losing their habitat. So this means that um, big parts of their habitat like forests are being destroyed, so they don't have anywhere to live. So this is a big problem and this is one of the reasons why their numbers are declining. But there is something that we can do to help. So um, I know that this is really, some of this is really difficult to, to hear about all animals being endangered, but actually there's something that we can do to help. So in areas where the trees are being chopped down, a lot of the time those um, trees are being chopped down to make products that we might use. So there's a simple thing that we can do. We can look out for the FSC logo. So as you can see it here on the screen, you might spot that on products like paper, on books, on toilet roll. Um, and if you buy something with this uh, logo on, it means that it's been taken in a sustainable way. So if some trees have been chopped down, some more trees have been planted, or they've been taken from an area where it's not gonna impact the animals as much. So this is a really important logo to look out for. And by buying things with this logo on, you're doing your bit to help the animals out. So the next animal we're gonna have a little think about are the rhinos. There's actually five species of rhinos and they're all endangered. 
here at Nolsey Safari, we've got the white rhinos, and there's about 18,000 of these left in the wild. Now, the reason that rhinos are endangered is because, again, they're being poached, and this time they're being poached for their horns. So this is what a rhino horn looks like. Now, have a little guess what you think a rhino horn might be made out of. You can always pause the video and have a little think. Now, this is quite a tricky one. So if you got this right, massive well done. A rhino horn is made out of something called keratin. So that's a big fancy science word, keratin. And we've actually got keratin on our bodies too. It's the same thing that our fingernails and our hair is made out of. So if you look carefully here, this almost looks a little bit like hair. You can see it's lots and lots of thick sort of hair fibers um, squashed together and that's what makes a rhino's horn so strong. So rhinos will use their horns when they're fighting with each other. They'll also use them to sort of mark their territory and they can even sort of dig in the ground with them as well. So it's really important for the rhinos. So another group of animals that are endangered are the reptiles. So lots of species of reptiles are endangered for a number of different reasons. So some of them are taken because of the pet trade, others are being poached for their skins, and some of them it's due to habitat loss. So when um, we think about uh, reptiles, we might think about snakes and lizards. Some of them are poached for their skins to make items like this. So this is a belt that's been made out of a snake skin. Or we've got a shoe here as well. And a handbag. So these things have been made out of a snake skin, which is really sad. Again, these things have been confiscated um, by the police. We've been having a little think about reptiles. So I've got one here for you to meet. This is Olaf and he's a royal python snake. So he might stick his tongue out at you. Don't worry, he's not being rude. He's just having a little smell around. He uses his tongue to smell with so that he can have sort of an explore of his surroundings. Now, as you can see, uh, they are covered in these amazing scales. And Olaf's got this really nice pattern on him here. And this is to help him to camouflage. So that's a big fancy science word. So camouflage is when an animal can blend in to their background. So Olaf will use his uh, pattern here, um, his lovely pattern on his scales to blend into the background so that he can then sneak up on his prey. So he likes to get as close as he possibly can before he strikes out to catch his food. We've talked about lots of different animals there. Now, some of them we mentioned were vulnerable and some of them we said endangered. So um, there's a group of scientists that decide which animals are vulnerable, which are absolutely fine, which are endangered and which are even worse, critically endangered and even worse again is extinct. So an extinct animal is when there's none of them left. So the group of scientists will look at a number of different things to decide if an animal is endangered or not. They'll look at how many of that animal are left, how quickly the numbers are dropping, and also how much space they have, so their geographical range, so how much space they have to live in, and how much of their habitat they have left. So once the scientists have looked at all of these different things, they can decide if, if they think an animal's in a really bad situation, it would be critically endangered. If it's not looking good, it's endangered, and if we just need to be a bit worried about it, then that's known as vulnerable. So there's a scale that all animals are on, so we can compare different animals, um, and then as scientists, we know which animals we need to concentrate on and which ones we need to be looking after. So there's lots of different conservation projects that look after the animals to help out the endangered animals. So here at Nolsey Safari, we look after animals here at the safari park, but we also support lots of conservation projects around the world. So you can check out our website for all of the conservation work that we do. So we've spoken about lots of animals that are endangered and it might feel really bad and really sad that these animals are having a bad time, 
but don't worry, there's lots of amazing work that's going on to look after them and there's things that we can do too. So there's little things that we can do and it might only seem like a really small thing, but if everybody did it, it would make a big difference to the planet and then that helps out the animals and the plants too. So even by sort of making sure things go in the right bin, so making sure that we're recycling things, cutting down on the single use plastic that we're using. If we're not using a light, if we switch it off, then that saves energy. And just generally not wasting things, so only buying the food that we need, um, or maybe even sort of trying to grow your own. These are all just little things that we can do to help the planet out.